another day another video welcome back to the channel everybody today we are watching the vampire diaries of this episode two of season seven hopefully you guys enjoyed the first episode it was interesting we finally got to meet lily's second family the heretics and one of them died interesting after being attacked by damon and you know i really enjoyed it just because it was a good introduction they seem to not really care who finds out who they are what they're doing you know they attack people in broad daylight they've done it two times and uh, it's bringing a good dynamic. I know we didn't have Elaine the last episode. We've still not got her. She's obviously gone out of the series. But it does beg the question, who is going after Damon and Stefan at the very end when it says three years from now? Which is pretty much in the future, which is interesting. Because the camera work and the cinematography and everything has totally, totally changed for the season. It gives it a new vibe. I feel like, obviously, Elena leaving and um, they're coming up with these new characters and these new storylines and the avenues to go down that they've added a step up in the recording, the filming, so to speak. And it just does interest me. When they transition, they've got different clips in between them now. And I'm liking it. Now, obviously, the feel as well. There's lots of clips in the last episode was outside of Mystic Falls. It wasn't even in the town. And um, to me, it is, does get a thumbs up that I do enjoy new locations, new vibes. Uh, we started uh, with Damon and Alaric. They was off on an absolute binge, wasn't there? They were trying to... not. I wouldn't say get over the fact that Joel and Elena died, but they're just uh, being lads. They're getting away, they're getting drunk, they're trying to drown the sorrows pretty much and uh, Damon's there to support Alaric. I guess who's along to support Damon? Bonner. She's there making sure that they don't get into any trouble. Now, the interesting thing is that Bonner and, um, what is it, Caroline, they're writing in a diary. Just like they, uh, Elena asked, she said, look, I want everybody to write down all the memories so I can read them when I wake up and I can, you know, envisage all the lies that you're having. So I, I enjoy the fact that they're both writing in their diaries. And, um, you know, we didn't see much of Elena doing that. We did that at the start and Stefan and then it's died down again. Um, but it's good. I do like it. Now, while he was in Amsterdam uh, on the trip, a lot of pretended that he was drunk <laughs> uh he said that right i'm just going i'm going um going back to the room uh i'm, I'm going to tell stefan because stefan rang he was like look we know where the heretics are i'm going to take them out in one swoop tell me how to make a bomb he said okay i'm going to go for a sleep sober up and i'll tell you so he stumbled away damon got his bourbon tasted it he's like oh you know i've had some pretty shitty bourbon in my life but this is awful bonnie had a bit it's like it's tea Turns out Alaric's lying. He's not even drunk at all. He's been fooling Damon and Bonnie. Everyone, mate. What he's actually doing, he's going to uh, some psychics and mediums. He's trying to contact Joe. Interesting. He's got this red, like, sphere glow ball thing that he stole from somewhere. Turns out, um, Lily, she wants it. She's tried to bring in Enzo as part of her team to find it. Now, she didn't disclose what it is. She said it's a family matter. So, I'm, I'm really, really intrigued, actually. When she says family, does she mean her heretic family? Or does she mean Stefan and Damon? That's what's interesting. Now, like I said, Damon started the episode in a box, looking like he was shriveled up, uh, drained of blood. And uh, Stefan come running three years from now. Come on, Damon, I need you, I need you. You know, he, he put some blood in him and he woke up and Damon was like, what, is Elena here? Do you know, so it's, it's fascinating. Honestly, it is really interesting. We had no time the last episode after transitioning into a wolf. We didn't see him, but Matt, he is part of the police academy now. He's deputy Matt. He just got promoted. Now, uh, Stefan and Caroline went through with a plan to blow the heretics up. They went in, set off the bomb. None of them died. Interesting stuff is that they come done a public massacre. That's what I would call it anyway. Displayed the powers. They showed the witch side. They showed the vampire side. They went out, killed everyone. Lily come. She stopped it. She said, look, we need to sort this out. I, I, I didn't fight for everything. Yeah, so you could just come and ruin everything. Um, and they come to an agreement that the elites that... There was a gas leak, which is weird actually saying that. The leaks that there was like some gas leak and they turned out to evacuate, you know, it's high levels. And uh, everybody has gone. And it pretty much they agreed with the with the heretics that if anybody comes back into Mystic Falls, free game, you can kill them. Which is, it is interesting. Caroline's gone around. She's tried to compel everyone to leave and not come back. But some people are dripping back in. Now, Bonnie's back. Damon's back. They're living in Damon's house. He's not happy about it. He's gone after one of them. Him and Bonnet managed to take one out, fully kill them. Uh, Lily's not happy. She's crying. She's devastated. Now, they don't know who's attacked them. I think they're thinking it's Caroline uh, because, they're, it's, you know, they, they, don't, they don't know Damon's back in the town yet. And uh, I don't know. Is Matt the sheriff now? Everyone died from the police academy, didn't they, when he was at his ceremony? These people killed them all. And um, <clears throat> it looked like Caroline and Stefan finally agreed to be a couple um and uh may got it on me got some action but they've done it way better than they did it when they had their humanity turned off so i like it 
and Damon and Bonnie are giving me vibes, vibes, and I'm fully excited to see where we go in that direction. So thanks for clicking on my video today. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. If you do, please smash a like and a button. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, let's jump into today's episode. <laughs> Look at it, just different vibes. Look at it straight away, it's mad. Where are my graphics and B-roll? Jamie, we're good on music, yeah, right? Uh, yeah, your fiancé just called. He's curious what your schedule is right before the wedding. I will handle this later. Thanks, mm -hmm. Charlie. Oh, she's getting married to Stefan. Second one's rolling. So a few weeks ago, the town of Mystic Falls was completely evacuated. Whispers and just strange things happening in the night. And he's dead. what you bring me, huh? And a thermal camera. Courtesy of Uncle Fred's graduation money. Look how hot you are. This thing's supposed to be, but there's some spirit or something supernatural present. Oh, no way, man. They're going to a lane's grave. It won't open. It's just so off. It's oh. Amanda. What? There's something behind you. <laughs> Amanda! No screaming, please. What? How do you know how to work that device? I don't. <laughs> I said. Let him go. Oh, what the fuck, mate? I've got to say, I, I, I am liking it. I am. I am liking it. It doesn't feel like I'm watching the Vampire Diaries, and that, that is not, not a compliment. That sounds, that sounds negative. That saying it, but it's not. It's actually have to change. Have to have to change the directors. What's happened? Like, I am not having. The same people that recorded the previous seasons are the ones doing this season. Uh, to me, it looks way better. I, I can't even explain how it is. It doesn't... The show just feels like it's just advanced. Like, the storyline might not advance. Do you know what I mean? Like, the story, it could be terrible. But in terms of what they've done so far, I, I just think... It, it's like we've stepped into new technology. Do you know what I mean? It's like it's it's literally just like I said, like last episode with the cin cinematographer when we're flicking over the cities now, changing new locations. The start of that episode was well good. It didn't have one cast member. Okay, I had Matt at the end there and these people, but it was well intense. You didn't even know these people. You was in it. It was thermal. It was like it went on her. They was all stood around him. It's like oh my god, then people are there. It it's it's really good. I I've got to say I am impressed with. The recording, I, I don't even know how to explain it. I'm just very impressed so far. No, I'm not going to pretend like my good looks are the reason this class is so full. I've heard the same stories you have about Mystic Falls. What's behind all of these stories? Well, the most terrifying thing that you're going to encounter in Mystic Falls? Trespassing ticket. The great Mystic Falls evacuation plan isn't going as well as everyone hoped. Well, they turned it into a ghost town. The heretics would kill 10 people already. Damon told me what you were doing in there. In fact, I'm a little offended you didn't come to me first. You wouldn't think it's weird that I'm trying to contact my fiance who's been dead for months. <laughs> That's just standard now in this program. Have you ever heard of the Phoenix Star? Can I help you? It's okay. I speak mute. Oh. Oh. I thought we had a deal. Yeah, we do. Otherwise, I would be at home. We found Malcolm in the town square last night. His heart removed. I came so you'd understand why we did what we had to do. Mm, Caroline. Someone killed Malcolm. Living is to retire. Oh. Look, be happy I'm the one who grabbed you. Well, fun tip. Friends don't really like to be tied up with ravine rope. This hurts really, really bad. God, I hate whiners. Deep breath. It's all right, you two. Got her. Because it certainly doesn't look like it. Oh, that's good. You killed him. Didn't you? Jeremy once, but are we really bringing that up? Right? <laughs> you found him in a town square without a heart. Did she want that back? I mean, I think I packed it somewhere. To retaliate for breaking our bad deal, she took Caroline. Which is why you are going to go over there, and you're going to fix it. Going over there, though. He's going over there straight away. Can I help you? A couple things. Who the hell is that? <laughs> She's the kind of woman I hired to clean up this house. Last night, I tripped and accidentally ripped Malcolm's heart out. I killed him in cold blood. Steph and Caroline had nothing to do with it. Damon, I have a hard time believing you acted alone. I'm pretty awesome. I'm afraid my family finds you much less awesome than you do. Why can't I walk into my own house? This is no longer your house, and I have the deed to prove it. Right, how she got the deed to the house? Was it... 
did they sign it over to Alina and it was hers and then she's died and now it's free and then it was like what did they say what did they say in America when, when it's free like foreclosure or something it's up in the air anyway and anyone could come and make a bid and she's done it and she's took it that's the only thing I can think of because they did sign it over to her she's died it's open fair game they've come they've took it and now obviously it's theirs if that's not what happened, then I'd be interested to see like how it's obviously not Damon's anymore. So, I, I've got to say, big up Damon as well. He come, said it's me. Literally, guy knows the power that these guys hold, and he's just come and admitted it straight away. It's me. It's not It's not Caroline. It's not Stefan. I'm awesome. <laughs> you are awesome. They're, they're like, well, we don't think you're that awesome. That's what they just said. Well, you know, you've been in 1903 for quite a while. I don't think you know our Damon. Um, and yeah, so I, I am really, really interested. I wonder how Damon's going to react when he finds out Enzo was the one that taken her as well. It's supposed to have resuscitative power. As in it can bring somebody back from the dead? And that's why I didn't tell you, because I was avoiding that look. I snuck into the Maritime Museum, because this was on display there. I don't feel any magic emanating from it. Sometimes witches will conceal by hiding the magic inside of it. Are you okay? <laughs> I saw something. That was good. People dying? Something evil. There we go. You can't mess with that magic, Rick. We have to destroy it. If Rick goes and makes a deal with these heretics, that is going to be mad, mate. Also, let's bring Kai back. Sack Joe off and bring Kai back. <laughs> Controversial. Look, I offered myself Lily to climb. Looks like nobody wants you around, do they? We no longer own the house. And I will find out who exactly does own the house. Kill said person, storm the castle, save your damsel. Maniacal villain with maniacal villain motives. He's the villain. When you're the one who killed one of her loved ones. <sighs> My family ran a slaughterhouse when I was growing up. Be happy I didn't hang you by your feet like we do with the cows. My girlfriend thinks her outfit has to be fashion forward. Nora, show us. I'm sure you're beautiful, my love. Nobody wears this anymore. She looks all right, to be fair. She does look old, though. <laughs> See? She's not happy. My best friend used to live here. She had good style. And I'm sure that a couple of our dresses are in a closet. Oh, there we go. But if you ever embarrass my girlfriend again. Oh, I like it. You promised you wouldn't be hurt. After you promised you wouldn't escape. I know it's not you don't quite like fair, it. but Lily usually lets Mary Louise and Nora get away with murder. You chose your side. There's no going back. You should just stop caring about her. So I take it things didn't go well with Rick. He wants to bring Joe back to life with a stone that's filled with evil incarnate. I convinced him to drop it in a vat of acid. I think we're good. She took Caroline. When? Why don't you tell me? Because I'm gonna get her back. Because I need your head in the game, Bon. I have a mission for you. It involves the person who owns my house. Now, Bonnie's always like, it's my fault. It's my fault. It's my fault. It's not your fault, Bonnie, man. Like, it's a team effort. You was there. To be honest, you did, didn't really do anything. The guy, you, you come over, the guy started siphoning your powers, and then Damon come over and killed him. So, yeah, it was a team effort, but it's not your fault. It's classic Damon, as he said. Good plan. I enjoyed it. Tag team, bait and switch, you know, come in, come after me. I'll come behind, take you out. Good stuff. I like it. Hey. Hey, whoa. Oh. So I own the Salvatore house? Great. So the only way to break the seal is for me to die. Please tell me that that's not the plan. What do you think about letting me <laughs> use magic to stop it? So you're going to kill me? Temporarily. So Damon screws up, Caroline gets grabbed, and I end up dead? Nora or Mary Louise? Mary Louise. Hmm. She's the nice one. Yeah, not if you laugh at Nora. You didn't. What, you don't get along with them? <laughs> They're the worst. Please don't talk to me out there. Why the hell are you in here? Looking for this. Oh! <laughs> a bitch! Thank you. Thank you. Six minutes. That's how long your heart can be stopped before anything bad happens. Seals down. I'll take the front door. Do you remember? Wow. That works. Good to know. Can it not be destroyed? Not going through it, man. <laughs> oh, she passed out. I don't know if you know this, but last night Lily kidnapped Caroline. In her eyes, Malcolm was more a Salvatore than you ever were. Why else would she bury him in a family crypt next to Elena? That crypt is sealed shut. Then it's a good thing that she's mother bear to a group of magic siphoners. 
Pull out Elena's coffin and dump the body in the river under the falls. That's mad, that. Like, imagine throwing Elena in there, kind of like how Steph it happened with Stefan. Obviously, Elena, she won't remember it. Uh, Stefan was weak, wasn't it? But it's just crazy, man, how she's, she's doing this. Like, uh, do you know what? I, I, I'm not the biggest fan of Lily, to be honest. I, I give her more episodes of Will. I will and do you know what? I actually like what, um, what Enzo said there. She merely abandoned her relatives, not her family, you know? It's it's deep. I, I do like it though because it, it fits her situation. That's how she talks. You know, she talks like they're a family and the relatives are, are just no one. But because we've seen three years into the future of Stefan in the last episode, and he had a cut on his chest, and then Bonnie was having these flashbacks and someone screaming, and he was getting a cut on them. Was that Stefan? I don't know. It is interesting. You know what does that symbol mean? <laughs> mean before or after this gallon of vein they injected me with. It's like I'm gonna have to swoop you up and carry you out of here. <laughs> Your skin is vervain. Anybody bearing somebody nobody cared about? <laughs> <laughs> Where is she? That's the fun of cloaking spells, Damon. She could be right next to you. Punish me, torture me, kill me for all I care. But leave Elena out of this. You remember when you broke my grandmother's vase? Even when your father beat you with it until you were bloody. Still, you denied it. Vehemently. So I switched tactics. And the next morning, when you woke, your room was bare. And you cried and cried. Admitted everything. She's not a toy soldier. Well, he sounded well, sad when he said was that. Not a vase. Malcolm was a vital part of this family. He was my sounding board, my confidant, my eldest son. Ironic that you took him from me. Tell me what you want. I think we're going to get a good season of Damon, to be honest, because it's it's giving a good excuse for him to be kind of savage a little bit. They're plotting the seeds for him to be able to go around and, and maybe do some people in here and there without no judgment because he's justifying his actions by trying to save Elena, but... Because we've seen him in the box at the start, maybe, what do you want? Get in the box, Damon, you know? Like, starve yourself. I don't want you in this city at all. You stay dead. And then when, when Body dies and Elena comes back, we'll let you come back as well. Do you know what I mean? That may be the plan that he goes down. So maybe he's not even in the season much, but it is interesting. It's all right. When we get out of here, we'll call Bonnie. Avoid skin-to-skin -skin contact. Extra hard for you. <laughs> What's happening? I don't know. I feel like every molecule in my body's being pulled. Bye, Heron. Caroline, please come in. I think we should go to the hospital. And say what? A friend used magic to stop my heart for six minutes. How's my brain? This is all happening because of Damon. The heretics are here because of me, and when I saw our town home like this, I helped Damon kill Malcolm. I hate them. Then why don't we stop fighting and do something about it? Mmm, get Matt on the side, Hello. though. Could have gotten her back, but you left. Or no comeback? No funny reason? I'm not gonna be here much longer. I believe Lily's exact words were as far from Mystic Falls as humanly possible. She has Elena. She's making me leave town. If the roles were reversed, what would you have done? She has her house, she has this whole town. I never did anything wrong as a kid. She took my toys. You cry like a little baby. I'd do anything, anything she wanted to shut you up. Slowly taking away everything we care about. And we don't let her fracture us. Or we do. Four heretics at the funeral. Dead Malcolm makes five. But in 1903, there were six. I'm gonna find them. I'm gonna negotiate a trade. There was. There were six. That's what's interesting. And what I would like to know is why she not brought that up? Where's she like, where's Bill? Do you know what I mean? Where's this sixth one? Why has it not even been mentioned? Does she not like that one? Is she happy that they're not there? Do you know what I mean? That's fascinating. He's going to hunt them down now. I think the best thing you could do is what we've seen in the in the originals where Francesca's gone and she's took out um she's she's took out everybody and Klaus willing to save his baby has falsified the death. He's made it look real. He made it look like the baby's died and he's passed it on to Rebecca. And now these need to do the same thing in terms of they need to make it look real that these hating each other are fighting when really they they they're on each other's side getting plans to infiltrate them but on the face of it what everyone else can see two brothers bickering not getting along
Wait, is that the one that Damien just killed? <gasps> wow, that's well interesting. I noticed Caroline is still being held in the girls' room. She made her bed. Now just time she's a lioness. Do you consider me a part of your family? I care for you as much as I do them. I'm not here to be one of your children. Shows you, I'm here because of you. I'm taking the guest room in the East Wing. Maybe give this a read. I know you think Valerie was doing you a favor. She's the worst of all of us. What is Valerie doing with Stefan's journal? The entry for July 15th, 1863 should tell you all I know. I just had the strangest encounter outside the county fair, but her name is Valerie, and she may be the most wonderful girl I've ever met. Great show, everyone. Someone named uh, Stefan Salvatore. I never want to hear the name Stefan Salvatore ever again. Tony? Tony! I ain't got a clue what's going on, me. I don't know what's going on. All I know, I like it. Now, her fiance is not Stefan, according to that. Is she fuming? Then she must be fuming that Stefan likes this Valerie there. You know what? I'm disappointed as well. I've got I've got throw out there now. I'm thinking about it. If we if we do continue into season eight in the present timeline of three years from now, in this one where they got took out, that means that Stefan and Caroline are not together, and then that is sad. So that's a little downer on it. But in terms of what's going on, I ain't got a clue and I'm liking it. And that's going to wrap up today's episode. So I, I think it's been another another decent one, me, in the season so far. Like, I'm just trying to figure out, I don't know which one of the sisters is good and bad. So this Valerie, she looked like she was helping Ca Caroline uh, by putting, like, a Vivain sort of spell on her. So when people touch her, they, they, they can't grab her. But then... This other girl, is it, I don't know her name, someone's called Nora, I don't know which one it is, the one that was dressing in a really old uh, fashioned gown, she's come in, said, look, she's worse than all of us, mate, you think that we're bad, like, she's well bad, look, uh, she, the first thing she done when she come back, she got a diary, Stefan's, like, it's through it to Caroline, she's read it, it seems like Stefan fell in love with her back in the day, now, does Stefan not remember this, surely he must do, he must know who she is, and he's not said out, um, so this is really really intriguing now the the blonde one of the family she the one that was torturing caroline she seems like uh the 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 dame in a style maybe like the torturer the one that like go after your little switch you say something wrong boom or go after her. doesn't mean she's the baddest though maybe this valerie is and then the one that she said cute dress to the one that give her this uh diary I think she may be an okay one, the best, the, the better one out of the three sisters. Now, Enzo kind of made his move on uh, on Lily at the end there. Now, that's not surprising to me. It actually isn't. Like, I, I felt like he, he was interested, he's been interested in her. I think that because she saved him, he likes her, he turned, like, and, and that is the reason uh, why he's chose to pick her. I think he's, like, got feelings for her now. Now, these three years from now things are really interesting there because, obviously, like I just said then with the Caroline situation and the Stefan, I wonder if that's put like a catalyst into what's happening in the future in terms of why she doesn't swap speech to Stefan. She's got a new fiancé. I thought it was Stefan. I was like, yeah, mate, she's getting married to Stefan. She's not, like, uh, somebody else. But then somebody was attacking Damon and Stefan at the start of last episode. Someone's just shot that guy in the neck and attacked Caroline then. So a hunter is going around... Imagine if it was Jez. I mean, I thought it looked like a female to be honest. I did say it looked like Elena in the last episode. So we haven't seen anyone this one. It's, so I can't really say. But Alaric, you know, he's got that ring. It turns out that he can bring somebody back from the dead, but it is cursed. It looks like it's well cursed. When Bonnie was unveiling the magic, he was getting loads of flashbacks of people screaming, people getting cut all open and all that. And she said, look, that needs to be destroyed. He said, yeah, 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 no worries. I'll drop it in. I'll get rid of it. Well, it turns out, you've seen the picture of Joey Cart do that, man. The guy's struggling. So what he's done is uh, he's gone and tested it. He's put it on a body. They started waking. He took it off. They fell back asleep. So, I mean, I think it is like I, I actually have no idea where this story is going. I, I, not that I don't have a clue what's going on. That's not what I'm saying. I just don't know what the story is. And that's not a negative thing. I, I, I'm not even saying that. I, what I actually enjoy is these characters come in. I don't really know who's a good one, who's a bad one. 
Um, is Enzo going to be good or bad? He seems like he's still got feelings for Caroline, but obviously, like, he's trying to put his loyalty towards Lily. We've got Damon. Is he got, he, we've seen him in a box, but how long is he going to be in a box for? Lily sold him to Lee. She's took Elena. He's killed somebody. You know, Matt nearly died. He's back now. Uh, Bonnie, she wants to get vengeance as well. She wants to get revenge on them, which is good. You know, you've got this Caroline situation going on with Stefan. Like, in the fast forward in the future, they're not together. So, what's happened there? People are going around tracking them down. Mystic Falls is like literally a deserted island. There's nobody there. And it's just like, you know, I like trying to bring Joe back. Dark magic. People, when you hold it, you can see people screaming. They got crosses on them. Stefan had one in the future. That guy, uh, one of her sons, he's got a cross on it as well. It's like lots of good stuff's happening, but I'm not too sure what it is that's happening. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Like, I'm enjoying it. I'm like, wow, wow. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. I'm really loving the cameras. Like, the, the camera angles, the different clips. I feel like we've got new directors, new show writers. That introduction was really good. It had nothing to do with any other Vampire Diary thing that we've seen. It was nothing like it. It was brand new. Like, if I clicked on this and didn't know I clicked on the Vampire Diaries, I would have been watching it thinking, have I clicked the right show? Do you know what I mean? It was so good. Like, the dynamic has changed totally. And um, I am... I, I'm actually loving it. I really am. It's, it's great. Now, uh, I really do... Wish we could proceed with um, with just me trying to establish the the season storyline and where we're going. Um, now, I, this three years from now, I I'm not a simple guy. Me, uh, as in, I mean, I'm a simple guy. I need stuff spelled out to me very clearly, baby type, so I can follow it. So it's not clicked yet. I've not read your comments of what's going on. But if we're going to get that, maybe in the next, like, five episodes, like, we're going to get a Damon three years from now, Bonnie three years from now, Matt and Tyler, and then drop back into the present and go after everybody. That's I'm going to have no complaints from that because um, I feel like when we transition forward, it looks really HD and in the present. It looks really new and fresh, and it's exciting. And I'm excited as well. Uh, I can't wait to jump into the next episodes. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please smash the like and the button. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.